it here. Another day. Another video in Hamburg. Meine Perle. Du bist eine schöne Stadt. Du bist mein Zuhause. Du bist mein Leben. Du bist eine Stadt, auf die ich kam. Für mich. <laughs> This might be my new favorite place in Hamburg. I totally want to move here now. And it's so cheap here. Yes. <laughs> Only like one million or two. Right. Not all. One of the most famous buildings of Hamburg, the Opera House, aka Epi Harmony. Epi Harmony. Epi Harmony. You can buy apples there. Yeah, Epi Harmony. <laughs> Parkour. I'm done. I'm done parkouring. So we don't have that much time today. We found a parking spot after looking around for like 20 minutes, and then we put money in. That was enough for one hour and 10 minutes. Three euros. Four euros. <gasps> Four? Four euros. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. We found a spot. And now let's get to the main topic of this video, which is... 10 culture shocks I have experienced while living in Germany. All right, here we go. <laughs> Applause, everyone. I can't believe we haven't made this video yet because I've been living in Germany for probably like five years in total now. Yeah. It's been crazy and I have a list and I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. This is what Joss has experienced. It's not like everybody is experiencing this. And I've lived only in Munich and in Hamburg. Yeah. So it might be different in your other cities or dorfs. <laughs> dorfs. <laughs> the first one. Okay. <laughs> Germans love, love with a crazy passion, TV game shows. Bevet Millionaire, Bevet and so fast. Everything is like quiz shows. Yeah. And they love it, dude. Not everyone. This is not everyone. Every German household has that playing at night, I feel. Yeah, sure. As if, as if <laughs> you haven't been to many German households. No, I feel like it. I have that feeling. <laughs> okay. My parents. They love those shows. Wer will millionaire? Wer weiß denn sowas? Gefragt, gejagt. I don't know. Like, so there are many. a bunch of them and they could spend three hours a day watching those. Yes. <laughs> also, Janik's parents have been in the audience of some of those shows. They go there to watch it live. Okay, next one. Yeah. There's a couple of things about the language that I find interesting. Tell me. Everybody says German sounds super aggressive. That's how they portray it in American TV shows TikToks. or movies. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, Was hast du gemacht? Yo, like oh, that. I hate it, dude. <laughs> no. I hate it. Because it's not true. They don't sound like that at all. I mean, of course, if they're angry, <laughs> it gets a little bit like scary. But in every language. Like yeah. if you are angry in Spanish, it also sounds scary. Yeah, that's true. But they can do like, <laughs> you know, like the R's sound like crazy. Like, yeah. Schlagsahne. <laughs> Nicht am Fassen! Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh man. A woman yelled at me and said, Nicht am Fassen! <laughs> <laughs> but they only sound angry when they're really angry. Normally, they sound amazing. I love how the language sounds. We sound very romantic. Tell me something in German. Ich liebe dich so sehr, mein Schatz. Oh, ich liebe dich auch. Du bist so schön. Du bist wunderschön. <laughs> no? I mean, come on. <laughs> like, Leave a comment <laughs> if I sound romantic. Or if not. he sounds sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Are Germans sexy? The second thing, I was shocked that Germans do not swear. There's no bad word that they ever use. I feel. I mean, there are bad words, but they barely use them in their daily lives. Us. Yeah, you Germans. Because we're very posh. <laughs> I think <laughs> no, in general, in general, Germans do not swear as much as other nationalities. From all of your German friends, when I've spoken German or heard them in German, they never say bad words. Yeah, but I mean, kids in school probably say more bad stuff. Your friends are just too we old. We are more too old. <laughs> mature. Well, we're in, adults. In Mexico, no. we swear at any age, dude. <laughs> when matter. my grandma was already like 80 something, she was still saying, "Pinche muchacha, ven para acá." <laughs> That's why I love so much the German language. I love the way it sounds. I love that it feels elegant. If you want to sound as romantic as Germans do when they speak their language, then we have the sponsor of this video, which is Busu. Busu is a language learning app where you can learn 13 different languages. Here they are. The lessons are very short and compact, which is amazing because you can do it from anywhere. We can do it here in a park chilling. We can do it in the train. 
we, toilet. we can do it on the toilet. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting on the toilet right now, leave a poop emoji yes. in the comments. Please, be honest. Be honest with us. If you don't know what your level is, you can take a placement test for the language you're learning. I did it in French and I got A1, oh. which is super <laughs> sad because I learned French in school for like four years. Yes. But in Spanish, I got C1. Mm. C1, this is like advanced. Today in the morning, I took a placement test and here's how it went. So while Joss is taking the placement test, I'm gonna tell you about another great feature of Bozoo, which is the community section. Here you can get feedback from native speakers that are part of the community, for example, on your pronunciation or your writing, or if you want to, you can give feedback and corrections. <laughs> Joss is not happy. I got a B1. Busu, you need to work on your placement test. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No, I actually had a lot of wrong ones. And it's because of the stupid grammar. The yeah. verdi das and the accusative and dative. But the good news is you can practice your grammar with Busu. That's true. Next year, I'm gonna be C1. Ah! Click on the link in the description if you want to try out Buzu. They have a standard plan which is completely free. But if you want to unleash the full power of Buzu with all the features and with all the classes, there's a premium plan. You can try it for seven days for free. Check it out down there. And now let's get back to the future. Oh, back to the future. The next one is something I really like and is that the buildings in Germany, to me, they seem to be built with a way higher quality than in other countries. Deutsche Qualität. Deutsche Qualität. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the word is insulated or isolated, but when you heat up your house, the heat doesn't go out as easily as in like Mexico or something. Yeah. And especially what I really like is the windows. The windows are the European style. If you have never seen them, here's a video. You can open them on the side, or you can also open them from the top, which is just a little bit open to get some fresh air into your room. What I really like too is the Rolladen. Is that a word? Rollladen. 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 Oh, whatever that. <laughs> Which is like a like a little van teppich. <laughs> okay, Rollladen is on the outside in front of the window, and then inside of the house there's either a button if it's electronically, or you have to pull it manually, mm -hmm. and then the Rollladen goes down. And that thing, the moment it's fully down, there's no light coming through. Absolutely no light inside of the room. Deutsche Qualität. Deutsche Qualität. But I guess you also have it in other countries. We've said this in other videos, but I just wanted to mention it again in case you're watching us for the first time. There are no refills, no free ketchup, no free mayonnaise, no free anything in the freaking restaurants in Germany. In fast food restaurants. Each one of those small packages is like, I don't know, like a few years ago it was 20 cents. Mm -hmm. Now it's probably 40 cents with inflation and all that stuff. But I'm always so annoyed. <laughs> like when I go to other countries and they just give me as much as I want for free. And then I'm in Germany and they're like 40 <laughs> cents. The next culture shock is that Germans don't really have a big going out culture. They don't go out much to the cinema, to have dinners, to have lunch, things like that. And I think the reason is because it's super expensive to do anything in Germany. Compared to Mexico, yeah. In Mexico, so many people meet outside in restaurants. You can go get tacos, you don't spend much money, and you can yeah. still be out with your friends. Yeah. And here in Germany, I feel like... Yeah, you're mostly meeting at the house, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Sometimes, Yannick, I found that so weird. He would text me, I'm with a friend in the center of Hamburg. I'm like, what, are you gonna eat or something? No, we're just walking. Just walking around. They just meet to walk around. We Maybe. even did it with Lawrence too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> we're literally just walking around catching up. But we're not going to restaurants because it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Next culture shock, the recycling culture is very strong in Germany. They recycle everything and you can get money back from recycling. So if you buy bottles in a supermarket, for example, of water or beer or whatever, in most of the cases, you can bring the bottle back to a supermarket, put it in a machine, and then you get money back. Mm -hmm. But it's not like the water got cheaper because in the moment that you buy it, they put that money on top. And that part of the money you get back when you bring the bottle back. If you recycle it, yeah. If you recycle it. If you don't, then you just lost money. Yes. <laughs> so, but it's a good system, I think. Yes. Sometimes uh, when I was living in Berlin, I had like 20 bottles mm -hmm. and I wanted to bring it back to the supermarket. And I was like, this is huge. <laughs> so I opened every bottle and pressed them and made them into a flat. a flat piece of bottle. And then I went to the supermarket and the machine said, oh, I cannot take it. It has to be normal. Babe. Yeah. A true German would know. 
<laughs> well, now I know. Okay, the next one. Germans do not like social media. At least a lot of them don't. Maybe with Gen Z it's different now. With TikTokers and but stuff. But with the old school people like us. Like a lot of our friends. Talk about yourself. I'm still in my 20s. <laughs> yeah. A lot of our friends, or my friends in Germany, they don't post anything on social media. No, I have no idea what's going on with their lives because on their Instagram is like I don't know, a flower. A tree. <laughs> in comparison, my friends in Mexico, they're dancing on TikTok. Germans really value their privacy. Mm -hmm. And that's, I guess, the reason why they don't want to post anything on social media. Yes. And my last point is that German women and girls look different. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, no. I didn't mean bad. I mean, they really embrace their natural beauty. Mm -hmm. And they do not buy that much makeup. They don't wear makeup, basically. They like the natural look. Yeah. We just got back from London. There we saw a lot of women with a, a lot, lot of, of makeup, makeup, which we also mentioned in the video that we made about the UK. Yes. Germany is like the opposite. <laughs> I remember when I would go to school and I just put on lipstick, some of the Germans would be like, do you have a party or where are you going? Yeah. And I'm like, like no, I'm coming school. to university, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just I wanted to look nice. I wish I could pull it off. I guess I could you pull it off. You could pull it off. I guess I could pull it off, but I am so used to myself with a little bit foundation at least or something. Yeah. I mean, obviously there are also people here in Germany that use a lot of makeup, but generally, I feel like they use very little. Compared to other countries, yeah. I changed. In London, I told you I had a bigger motivation to do my makeup. When I'm in Germany, dude, I let go. Never showers. <laughs> no, I shower. <laughs> I shower. And I do my makeup when we're recording. <laughs> awesome. I have one last point. Okay, go fast. It's an extra point. I love that Germany loves pets. Oh. There are pet parking spots. In front of supermarkets. In front of supermarkets. And you always see cute little dogs like waiting for their owners is there. Also, when I was in university, there were so many people taking their dogs to school with them. So we were always taking class and there was a dog next to us just watching the class, <laughs> enjoying it or bored. <laughs> yeah, who knows if they're enjoying it. Yeah, but they love pets. Nice, Germany. Well done. Mm -hmm. If you agree with Joss's points, let her know in the comments. And if you like this video, give us a like. Yeah, and if you don't agree, also let us know in the comments, but in a respectful manner. Yeah, Okay. be nice. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Adios, muchachas. Cheers. Oh, <laughs>